So guys, are you ready? Maybe we'll leave it for a few months more. You want to wait? Or you want to do it now? Okay, good. Thank you, thank you, Jens, for the kind words and, you know, and thank you, everybody that are here. And that's, that's from my heart. It's not something that I just say. I want yourself actually to give yourself a really, really big applaud right now for being here. And why, why do I do that? Because I know what it takes. I know what it takes. We are a young company, extremely young company. Do you guys realize how young of a company we are? I mean, we crazy. <laughs> Frank came down to Bangkok in November. November. He had no idea about what we're going to do. And to be honest, me too. Okay? And we wouldn't be here today without Frank. And it's very important that you guys understand that. Because Frank is one of the most important elements in what we do. Because he understands the complexity of running an international multi-level marketing company. Okay? Many people believe and say that, yeah, you know, I'm tired of this, you know, I'm going to form my own company. Guys, I've been there, done that, and I can tell you guys that that's the last thing I ever wanted to do. To run an international, multi-level marketing company combined with tokenization, combined with a lot of tricky things, guys. A lot of tricky things. And I've actually been having the privilege of failing before. <laughs> okay? F privilege, I'm saying, to fail before with an international multi-level marketing company. Okay? So I know what can go wrong. So a lot of people you will hear coming out, new companies, new this, new that. Who do you think they're going to copy? They're going to try to copy us. Guys, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. So for me, uh, all of these guys that you see here, you know, you have Jens, you have Frank, you know, Wayne that, uh, you know, helps with, you know, the IT, Jay, Dr. Meta, you know, all of the people, fun, that had the balls bigger than most of the guys here, okay, to actually start doing something, you know, that was related to crypto. So we started with Orientum, you know, we all were carrying around the CCW, you know, SEPCO, this, that. You know, so, so many brands related, so I'm not standing here today as a cloud horizon. It's very important that you understand that. So what I'm going to go through with you guys today is one of the keys to make this extremely, extremely, and extremely, extremely beneficial for all of you guys. If you understand the rules. Okay? So what are the rules? The rules are a five-year-plus strategy. I'm saying plus. Five years after, I repeat again, five years after the last of the 50 polypatrons are financed. How long it takes for us to finance 50? That is up to us. Yeah? You understand that? Where are we now? One. It took a bit of a time, yeah? But pretty fast anyway. We're a really, really new company. Do you think it's going to go faster after this weekend? Oh, yeah. You know, strap on. Hold tight. What happens when, uh, when we're going through what I'm going to show you guys right now? I think it's going to go even faster. I bet it's going to go a lot faster. Because if you understand what I'm going through with you in the next 30 minutes, you're hardly going to want to stay in the room. I presented to Jens a few weeks back, and you know, he was on a Skype with me. It was Skype or Zoom, I don't remember, it doesn't really matter. But he was almost coming through the screen, you know. Because, and that means he hadn't really understood it before. We hear a lot of people speaking about, you know, the exchange rate, value, pardon, value. It's not a value, ladies and gentlemen, it's a rate, redeem rate. And you will understand that in this presentation and why you are so privileged, okay, so privileged to have a redeem rate right now of what? 
two. Okay? And you will understand in the next 20 minutes to 30 minutes that actually you don't have a redeem rate of two if you understand the rules. So you agree that it's important to understand the rules? Because if you don't understand the rules, you will be left out. You will lose. How would you feel, let's say that I'm giving you something today, a token of appreciation in your hand, and you think, yeah, it has no value, so you go ahead and give it away and sell it, and then you realize that, oh shit, you know, five years from now it was worth 100,000 euros. Is that good? Yeah. It's good to know the rules. Yeah? So what is it that we do? We're running a multi-level marketing company, call it what you want, network marketing company, social marketing company, call it what you want. But really, if you understood what Frank just was speaking about, I think that we are not only, we will always be the most compliant company on the market. Why are we changing direction? No, upping the limit, upping the level to the next. It's very important because if you really realize, I've been personally 19 years in network marketing, Frank been a hell of a lot longer, okay? Some of you may be more than 19, some of you less. I realized very quickly in my network marketing career that it would be a lot more cool if we have outside money streaming into the network. Do you agree? And that is what we have by the customer strategy that we have. But it's not really enough. But I want you to think about it. There are a few companies on the market that realize this. And you hardly heard about them. And they're doing almost 10 billion in turnover each of them yearly without having good compensation plans. 10 billions. Yeah? That's pretty cool. That's more than most do. And without free promotional tokens, without social capital of taking plastic and turning it into fuel. What do you think we guys can do? So the sky's the limit. So what I'm going to speak about today, not from a Cloud Horizon perspective, as a founder that's been taking a lot of time to get done. And it's not my idea solely. It comes from actually using these flaps on the side of the head. Listening to criticism, you know, does this work this way? Does that work this way? And thinking about it, how can we make it in the most compliant way, but also in the most sustainable way for the person that understands the rules? So I think you agree. Would you like to you know, make money 10 years from now? Yeah? Would you like to do it residually also? Maybe even passively? Would that be something? That was the reason for me entering network marketing. <laughs> yeah? But it hasn't been possible so far. The strategy for what we're going to present to you right now is made for you to be able to actually retire. Is that good? That's what we're doing. The strategy of this is made for you. Yes, you can make a lot of commission, cash. Yeah? You're making 70% cash, correct? Another 30 that you also, if you are not that bright and you don't understand the rules, it's 100%. The ORT, yeah? That you now can start purchasing. Correct? If you're smart, that's a hell of a lot more than the 70% if you wait a bit. But then we have free promotional tokens, yeah? That you can do what with? Redeem them to get what? Correct. ORTPs. These guys, these are dynamite. Because if you do your math, I won't do it from the stage. You go home and you do your math. You will realize that this company pays more commission than any company on the market ever in network marketing or outside network marketing because actually if you follow the rules of the game, the five plus years, it's impossible for any company to pay this kind of commission. Why? Because there will be bankruptcy before they start. How is that possible? Because we are having what? The first polypetron right now, correct? Correct? This one will be leveraged with or without you. That's the key to the whole thing. 
the first polypetron, even if you stop today, will not stay one. We will use external financing partners to leverage this one to three, to seven, to 15, to 32, no limit. Because why? It is a highly, highly profitable business. You want me to give you some secrets here? I just spoke to Dr. Metta. Since yesterday, since we turned on the plant, we are not running full steam, guys. It's still in the testing mode, the first plant. But we already produced the first 24 hours more than 13,000 liters of fuel. <laughs> it's running? <laughs> you guys see this? Damn, it's expensive to have actors running 24 hours. <laughs> hey, Metta, how many monkeys have pouring the fuel? I'm, I'm serious. People believe that it's not real. The banks like it. They know it's real. And I ain't going to say how many we can leverage one into. Do you understand what happens when you have a finite amount of tokens? And an infinite amount of increasing fuel output. Do you understand? Yes. Who are, what other company has that? Oh man, it's expensive with all these actors. I think the monkeys are getting tired to pour this one now, Matt. We better shut it out. This is the key. This is the key. And the fuel is so clean already coming out that it has social capital. We're taking away plastic from the market. Is that a good social capital? And making even not it only disappear, now outpours the fuel. So what is it all about? What do we want to do is support the circular economy, where there is not waste left behind. Does that make sense? Does it make sense for us to want to take trash, trash from the market and make value out of it? Who can say that that is bad? The thing, ladies and gentlemen, is that people do not yet understand that it's real. Okay? Once it is tangible and real, what happens? It is irrefutable. You can't say anything. Yeah? That's why I'm thanking you, because you have to still trust. Soon you don't need to trust anymore, because it's only, this is how it is. Two years from now, people will say, yeah, this company, you know, you know, yeah, of course I'm doing, I'm doing all my shopping there. Why? Because I get free promotional tokens, and I'm going to leave those to my grand grandkids. That's how I see it. It is your retirement. So we are driving in these areas, yes, plastic to fuel innovation. I don't know what I did in this life or in a previous life to run into Dr. Metta. It can't have been too bad. Because I can provide this for you. We can provide this for you because of this gentleman. He said to yesterday, again, oh, I'm fighting 18 years. You know, nobody, you know, listening and want to believe. And, you know, it's this and that. I say, you know, believe me, I come from the same kind of, you know, industry. Network marketing, where everybody thinks they knows the best. But at least we have the same thing with him. We are not greedy people. So I'd rather have 1% of you know of this big, big, big thing than 100% of something small. So SEPCO, I mean, as you heard, SEPCO already tweaking it and not running full power. We have 13,000 liters a day already running out of it. It's not in full operation. Pretty cool, yeah. Eltronex. What is Eltronex? It is one of our partner companies. One of the companies under the consortium. Why Eltronex? We have realized, as you see where we're going right now, that it's not about the technology anymore. It is not about building the best blockchain anymore. It is about providing value on the blockchain, yeah? Still today on the boat, there were people coming to me that hadn't realized really what we do. Say, yeah, but you know this and that, and you know, say, yeah, go, come on. Stop, 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 stop. 
What are you talking about? We're not a cryptocurrency. Uh, what do you mean? He said, no, we're not a cryptocurrency. We're a token that is backed by, not only backed by, okay? It is the only trading token for all the fuel output that comes out. That is not backed by. That's better than backed by something. It's the only token that trades all the fuel that comes out from this first machine and all the ones to come from it. That is not backed by. That is something better, yeah. And not only oil, a specific oil that is so sought after, even stipulated in legislations here in Europe, guys, here in Europe from 2021, you have to use part of the fuel coming from sources like this. You have to. From 340 million cubic tons, you know, metric tons used every year on the European market, 1.5% has to come from fuel like this. And we have not only a fuel like this, we have the best fuel like this. Because people won't believe, I showed yesterday to some people that were here also, you can actually drive on this fuel when it comes from the tap. If you have a low RPM engine, try to pump from the ground some crude oil and drive on it, it's going to go pretty bad. Okay? So yes, the licensing through Eltronex is important. Why? Because we want to be legal. We also have you guys, the most important part. Yeah, say it again, the most important part. We, we are the early movers. We are the entrepreneurs. We are, as much as I hate it, the visionaries. Okay? We have to see things that people yet not see. Will it be profitable? Oh, yeah. If you understand the rules. SEPCO, we all know, so very quickly I'm going to go through that. What is uh, SEPCO? It's a company that manufactures machines. Polypetrons. But also a company that goes into partnerships around the world through franchising concepts or through a concept like with us here in the room, Cloud Horizon, an agreement. Okay? So what is it? Yes, the most sophisticated technology so far at least out on the market. Why can I say that? Because of a person sitting in our office that you should thank, his name is Paul Schein. They've been researching all of the similar technologies in the world that is out there. And none of them comes close. So you should thank Paul for that. Because of him, I can say that it is like that. <laughs> what is it more about? The polypetron, obviously. SEPCO, what is the value of the business? Industrial machinery, as I said. Real estate, don't forget the real estate. You saw yesterday the movie from the first polypetron, yeah? Did it look nice when we came there? No. Plastic garbage all over the place, looking more like a war zone, correct? What happens when you clean that up? Do you think the real estate, uh, you know, increases in value? We're taking wasteland and turns it into prime property. I don't think you've been thinking about that. Is that a good deal for Cloud Horizon? Is that a good deal for SEPCO? Is that a good deal for you? Yeah. <laughs> Profits from fuel sales. Now we're talking SEPCO in general, not only in the pool together with Cloud Horizon. Do you think it's profitable to manufacture fuel like this? Oh yeah. To thanks to Paul Shine, I also know that this is much more profitable than any normal oil company on the market. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, yeah? On top of that, we have social capital attached to the fuel. Let's call this a win-win-win training for you guys. The more wins you can write down on the paper, the more you're going to win out on the market. It's pretty damn tricky to argument with me something about this. Because I have answers for all of it. Win, 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 win. Ah, stop! That's what it's all about, facts. 
Intellectual property. Do you think it's worth something, this machine? Oh, yeah. It's actually cheap, the price you're selling it for. And Cloud Horizon's price of 3 million is a discounted price. It is not a full price. It is a heavily discounted price already. Do you think it's profitable? Oh, yeah. Social capital, I said it already, saving the environment, but not only that. Taking away, I read an article the other day, actually it's a CNN article. We are eating or getting into the body about five grams a week of plastic through microplastics. That is the same amount as from a credit card, weekly. Is that social capital? Yeah, I would say so. So in this uh, occasion, Sepco Industries has partnered with Eltronex. That is the first thing, remember, not Cloud Horizon, Eltronex, to tokenize this. Why? To reduce waste of plastic and bring genuine value through profitable and sustainable business. That's the whole idea, before even talking about Cloud Horizon. So if you look a little bit at uh, Eltronex, what is it? As a company, yes, it's registered out of uh, Tbilisi. Georgia, with all the licensing needed and so on, but specifically for Orientum Plus that we're going to talk about today is to support the battle against plastic waste. That's the purpose. Take away plastic, make fuel run out, and make people gain a better environment and gain a better economy if you know the rules. The total ORTP token pool is 40 billion, not 40 billion one. And we have the pleasure of having it on an Ethereum blockchain, which means that we can't, even if we wish to do so, manipulate it at all. Somebody said something interesting yesterday. Oh, so I should probably buy Ethereum. <laughs> and, and I said, yeah, that's actually an interesting thought. Think about it. Both over the Orientum and Orientum Plus is on the Ethereum blockchain. You think it goes down the value of the Ethereum blockchain or up? But they realize it, yes. So it might be a good idea to buy some. Orientum Plus in itself. We are very proud of that. And it's not an ICO. It's very important to understand it because you will get questions. That, oh, what about the white paper? What about this? What about this? Guys, it's not an ICO. In order to be an ICO, initial coin offering. You know, you need to gain some money for it, yeah? How do you get these? Can you buy them? No. You need to earn them. Correct? Either by choosing the right products and services, or what? Make some money, commission. And the strategics behind this is very, very, very specific. We want to reward the most you guys that puts in the effort, that believes, that are the early movers together with us and are in this in the long term. What is long term? Long term is more than five years. Correct? So the people that understand this will benefit the most. And how is this possible? We all hear about the contractual agreement, and this is very important. And this is something we have done thanks to Frank, thanks to Dr. Meta and so on. Because we already were into, I was lucky to already work with Dr. Meta, was lucky to already have the company, Sepco Industries, together with Dr. Meta and so on, because it belongs to the consortium. You saw yesterday the movie. You need to get that into your head. The consortium is on top of it all. That means that indirectly, by participating in Cloud Horizon, here you guys, you will also benefit from everything that the consortium does even if it's not Cloud Horizon. It's very important that you get that and that you educate yourself on what belongs to the consortium. Because Cloud Horizon is not SEPCO. SEPCO is not Cloud Horizon. But together it forms a unity through the consortium. And this deal that was done, it doesn't only let us, in my opinion, it binds us from Cloud Horizon to allocate the net profit into building these plants. And proof of concept, what is that? Yes, like Jens said yesterday, it is not to take lightly that a network marketing company would be profitable. I know you guys have been, you know, uh, some of you in other companies. Some of them go bust 
because they're not profitable. They're overpaying, they're doing this and that, can't deliver and so on and go bankrupt. Correct? I would say we pretty much proven that by building the first polypetron, correct? In a very short time. It proves the point of being profitable, not only profitable, but so profitable that already, with so few members in our network, so few turnover, the first polypetron is up and running. That proves to me, it should prove to you guys, that we are highly profitable. It also proves... It also proves that we do what we say, putting it in there. And there are many reasons for doing so. One of them is obviously that we make more money by doing so. That is a pretty good reason, yeah? So when we have a machine like that standing, that now not only does 15,000 liters, but closer maybe to 18,000 liters or more, is it more profitable or less? With the old calculation I did with the P slash E, if you are into, you know, investing in the stocks and so on, you know what a P-E value is, yeah? Pretty much oil company usually has more than 20, or around 30 maybe in P-E, in average, if you look at them all. If you're taking some of the really successful ones, they've been everything from 2 to 400, depending on who owns the shares. Obviously, if I own all the shares, I would like to have a very low price per, uh, versus earning, yeah? To be able to cash out the value fast, correct? If you're doing a 20, if you're taking a 2 million profit per year in a machine, times 20, what is that? Somebody says 40, correct. So is it better to get, you know, the 3 million or 40 million in value? I don't need to explain more. So does it make sense for Cloud Horizon to invest? Oh, yeah. Because what is it that uh, Cloud Horizon gets? It reads here, fixed percent ownership of each plant. <laughs> That's pretty good, yeah? But also, 20 billion ORTP tokens that Cloud Horizon can do as Cloud Horizon wish to do so with it. And that's pretty cool, because Cloud Horizon, and you will see in this presentation, has chosen to give most of it to you guys, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Through free promotional tokens, so you can redeem these if you wish to do so. Is that a cool thing? So not only are we getting paid commissions for actually fighting the pollution in the world, but we're getting extremely well paid also for the future if we choose to redeem these free promotional tokens. And if we choose to trust and to do things like you did, we're getting rewarded extremely well. And when you start doing the math, you will see so. So if you're looking at what happened, I will skip this video or maybe I will let it roll. This signing was done, done on the 18th. Dr. Meda, I'd like to thank you again that we've managed to put this agreement together. It really is history in the making. For the yes. very, very first time, a direct sales company be involved in the fight yes. against the environmental issue of plastic waste. And through this, we can enable every right. person joining our company yes. to be a part of this fight. So thank you again very, very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I think you, many of you guys, if not all, have seen this signing. But maybe it means more today. You agree? It means a hell of a lot more today. Because now you can also show that, oh, holy shit, you know, the first one is already running. So if that doesn't make you excited, I don't know what. So what is the value of the token if you're looking at it, the ORTP? If you're looking at what happens, approximately 5 million liters of fuel yearly from each and every plant. Five million liters, is that bad? No, it's not. It's a lot of fuel, yeah? Now I say approximately, before it read five million. Why? Because we see that already without tuning and full capacity, it's 13,000 liters per day out of this machine. 
Meta said yesterday that maybe 18,000, maybe more even, a day. So obviously, if we do 18,000 liters with 330 days, taking into consideration some cleaning of it, maintenance, we're talking 6 million liters. Huge difference, yeah? But if you're looking at it, what will SEPCO do? Indirectly or directly, SEPCO will purchase these from the market. And I will explain how that one really works. It is not like SEPCO goes to the market and buys these. No, SEPCO accepts this for delivering fuel. And obviously, these will be in and out of the company SEPCO. And I will explain how this works very soon. Why is this so cool? Yeah, because it builds a demand for the token, the fuel output. Correct? So if one machine now we would stop today, let's say we would stop today. One is up or running, yeah. We stop it. Oh, let's not do anymore. Now you start understanding it's not about the 50 machines here. What if we stop today? We start leveraging. It's three machines, it's seven, it's 10, it's 15, 20, 30 machines. Is that more fuel? So instead of the 5 million liters, we have 100,000 liters, 100 million liters. Is that good? You know, suddenly 100 million liters, and you will soon see that even with the worst promotions we've been doing, you know, extra this, extra that, you know, and so on, we're still following the original calculation, which means that when the value goes up, the redeem rate, the rate goes up, which should have happened yesterday. It should have happened yesterday. The first machine, poop. It should be 275 today. Oops. We're not going to do that because I don't think you understood it before. What would that happen then when it's 100 million liters running out in a few years from now, from one machine? Where would the tokens go? The people that don't understand what it's all about, oh, let's dump it out on the market. I want some money out of it. Where do they go? To SEPCO. Do you think SEPCO want to let it out cheap? No. So this is what it's all about. It's a numbers game. And this token, which is linked to blockchain, is connected to this commodity running out from the machine. The more fuel running out, same amount of tokens, this go down. Yeah, but maybe it goes down. Yeah, maybe temporarily it goes down because people are not logical. I can't say that, it, no, it will go only up. It's not true. People come to say, it can't go down. Yes, it can go down, because unfortunately, people are too stupid for their own good. Yeah? But you guys that understand the strategy, if it goes down, what would you do? <laughs> We're going to buy it, yeah? If I'm a fuel buyer, do you think I'm going to buy it cheap or expensive? Guys, we're not going to wait to November before we trade. Because it doesn't make sense for us to wait. <laughs> Did you hear that? We're not going to wait to November. Who are the winners? Sepco and Cloud Horizon are definitely winners. Why? Because of all the social capital built up but also money. We are financing plants without a debt for the company. You understand that? So Cloud Horizon is doing a profit, investing 100% into building the machines. Is there any debts to the machines? No. They're 100% financed, debt-free. Debt-free property. Debt-free. Guys, debt-free. You think banks like that? The banks, they say, who? Come to us. We want to finance. Do you have buyers for the fuel? Da. <laughs> More than we can produce. The buyers of the fuel wins. It has a high diesel yield. It is so clean coming out from the tap. So it's cheaper to refine it into the end product. OK? It has a low sulfur of high quality, more eco-friendly. Now I want to give you a little bit more about this than reads. Does anybody of you guys know what the PM particle is? The particle in the air that they measure the quality of the air with. Do you know what that is? Sulfur. 
Okay? My nose was bleeding, you know, in Bangkok a few uh, months back because the particle in the air was so high. It was 180. It's considered to be really bad for you over 80. So people started getting, you know, the nose is running, you know, allergies, nosebleed, all of it. Guys, if the whole Bangkok would drive on this fuel, there would be no particles in the air. Is that social capital? <laughs> Do you think fuel is in high demand? People say, yeah, but what about the electrical cars? You know, I have a Tesla. Guys, do your research. 98% of all the electricity still today comes from waste, you know, from, from fossil fuel. So it's nice with electricity, but it, unfortunately, electricity needs to come from somewhere also. Guys, we were on a boat yesterday. Yeah? We had a cruise. Did you see a lot of the bo boats out there? They're the biggest polluters on the planet, and new rules and regulations are coming into the place. They will be forced to drive with a better fuel. Straight from the top from us, they can drive on it. And it has lower sulfur, non-existent almost sulfur. Do you think the marine industry is interested? Oh, yeah. Feel-good factor of getting rid of waste, waste plastic. Building the social capital. And this is what it's all about. And that is why we are moving towards the customers, 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 customers. Because what customer do not want to support the cleanup of plastic waste? and actually get rewarded of it. What merchants do not want to connect into the platform, maybe give a 10% discount, where our 2% units then for purchasing the vouchers, but actually, they're making more money on it if they look at it a little bit more long term, yeah. Correct? So this is, this is so beautiful. Eltronex, obviously, is a winner, and the whole blockchain community. In my opinion, the whole blockchain community is a winner. Why? We are finally able to show the world that we are not only backing it up with something and paying commission, which means it takes years or decades to get to zero. No, putting real solid commodity on it that not only stays the same but increases. Do you think that's good for blockchain? Oh, yeah, give yourself an applause for that. <laughs> we are running on ERC20. Holy shit, if I would have realized before to do that before. Because everybody was speaking about the fintech, 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 fintech. No, forget about it. It's like the IT bubble. We are past that. And you as a networker that already has the same problem as me. Yeah, but what if it's a scam? What if it's this, you know? Hey, come on. People know that Ethereum. It's really, huh? Governments are using it, big companies are using it, and so on. What is it I heard somewhere? 50, 60,000 people each day are sitting and working on it. How are we going to compete with that with our own blockchain? But not only that, from a business strategical standpoint, it's madness to have our own. Why? Because then we are also responsible. Correct? From a legal, technical standpoint, it is suicide to have our own. Why? Because the legal system do not understand blockchain technology yet. So they even believe that you can't have a blockchain that is centralized only. Of course you can, but they don't understand that. So by doing this and choosing the ERC20 token, we're washing ourselves free from all of those doubts. Which is good for you, yeah. And it's good for us. So we are focusing 100% on solely on building value. And I'm not saying that the ERC20 is the last place we will stay. We will stay there as long as it's the best solution. Yeah? Like all of the company, the only thing we can promise you guys is that we won't stay the same. We will change if it is wise to do so. And I think that is worth an applaud for you guys. Change. The token holders, let's not forget us. We are truly winners. We can indirectly participate in the battle against plastic pollution. And this is so cool, ladies and gentlemen. So when you see where we are going with Jens presenting after me, you will see that it's so connected to everything that we do, not only being able to make money, but being able for you as a Cloud Horizon member, 
as a customer show your indirect impact on the kilo even in the future, very near future, how much you have been involved taking away plastic waste from the market. Is that cool? That is cool. Let's say that you are a one star and you can show, oh, 20, 30 tons of plastic because of me, the first year and increasing. Me as a five star, a few million metric tons of plastic taken away. Is that social capital? That's social capital. And obviously, said it already, rewards. We want to reward you, and you guys will see that when we go through the next step with the team sites, Cloud Horizon Media, and so on, how important these rewards can be. Because we want to really put value in your pocket for being not only putting in the money through you know, the work that you do and getting out commission, but also the time that a customer can put into actually doing something good for the environment. We will reward all those actions with free promotional tokens. Okay? And if you are good enough in teaching the people, they can do what? They can redeem them to our TPs. Pretty cool, yeah. So how are we going to do this, guys? And this is one of the most important things then. Yes. We need early movers, you know, to get the full advantage. And you have got so. Incredibly, incredibly low redeem rate as of now. But we also need to incentivize long-term benefits by following the rules. We will achieve this in a very, very simple way. Yet simple, but we are talking about a few steps. We are talking about the first step, which is proof of concept. What is proof of concept? Yes, these are the three steps we've been talking about, which is the first step from this part of the business. Number one, profitable business, yes. Number two, investing and getting the first plant up. Number three, this is so important. Reaching industrial scale capacity. It's about 10 units needed, eight now maybe. When we're reaching a scale of being able to each and every month produce 5,000 metric tons of fuel, that means that any customer from anywhere around the world that is in the oil business wants to get this fuel. Is that important? It has to do with the refining capacities and things like this. It's something I learned because I wanted to learn how the industry works. When we get to this, ladies and gentlemen, we can even get into, you can ask Dr. Meta about it, we can start producing even kerosene, which is jet fuel. <laughs> How does that sound? Fly on plastic bags. Jump on a flight here in Amsterdam, fly to Bangkok, and be indirectly involved in taking away almost 1,000 kilos of plastic by choosing this airline. Do you think any airline wants to have that? Oh, yeah. Next step, momentum and scaling, building the business. And it has a lot to do with securing plastic waste. It sounds ridiculous, but believe me, once people realize that plastic is no longer a pollutant but a commodity, the game is changed. So it's all about speed. Speed, 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 speed. Today a hole in the ground worth hundreds of millions of euro because the oil that will come out from it. Do you think people will give away that land or pay to get rid of it in the future? Oh, no. It's money, ladies and gentlemen. Final step is the global expansion. And here I want to point out something that you should understand that is very, very important. What company on the market has the benefit of having what we have? Imagine that you guys would be slow, but Sepco is doing a good job and selling machines. Do you think it's easier for you to get the speed? Yes, but now we are fast and we're helping SEPCO. Do you think it's easier for SEPCO to sell some machines? Yes, we have the synergy. So these 10 machines is not solely what we do. Yeah, it's also what SEPCO does. So it's going very fast, ladies and gentlemen. What is it that we have? What is it really that we do? As you all know, 50 polypetron units financed through Cloud Horizon. This can take a year, it can take two years, it can take three years. 
it is totally up to you and me, to us, how fast we do the job. That is why it's so important to work together, so important for you guys to understand the facts that we base this on, so important to understand the tokenization strategy, because when you understand that, you can't sleep. Okay? So now you also understand that it's not about the 50. It's about every single machine coming up from the one we have already. It's already game on. Yeah? Even if you shut it down today, it would have worked. We only need now to bring it to the market, to the exchange. And we will talk more about that later on today. When and how we will do that. Okay? So we're not going to leave you go home without having information, yeah? We also have... 40 billion of ORTPs, yeah? That is strategically distributed, yeah? Not only, ah, here you got some, here you got some, no. These are real value, even if they're for free. And as I said before, it's a five plus year expansion plan. And I want you to understand this. Today we have one that starts to be leveraged. When we reach 50 that being leveraged, that means that by the end of the fifth year, after the fifth year is in place, it will be no more little than 750 machines at least out on the market from this pool. So even if the five year is over, and I will speak about how you will benefit during these five years, after that, how many machines is daily put into your know, operation? Two, three, four, five? Is that more fuel or less fuel in the pool? More. So it never ends. We want to incentivize, like I said, you guys. Why? Because you have to see something that all people doesn't see. This is very important to see. Do you see this? That is 10 machines. And don't worry, this material will be highly, it will be official on the Eltronex website next week for everybody to see. We have a professional presentation running for it. It will be transparent, but still you need to understand it. When the first 10 are up, it goes faster. So when the second now they are on the work with us, financing it indirectly through bringing a turnover into the company, creating profits and so on, yeah, 275 will be that one. Then when the third one is 350 and so on, and by having reached 10 machines, 10 polypetrons, it will be 11 cents. Redeem rate. And by the 50, you see it plans out, it will be 24, 37, if I remember correctly. So this is the redeem rate. But it has to do with the real numbers that will come out in the end of the day of fuel. So it's not just speculation, let's do it like this. It has taken a lot of time to get to this. How do we reward you guys? How do we keep the people want to do it? Because even if you would get it at then redeem it at 24 something, if you understand the game, the rules, if you understand what I'm soon going to speak about, you haven't redeemed it at that if you are playing the, by the rules. You will be at maybe 7 cents, it's as good. So what does that mean for 2 cents? It means a very low redeem rate, yeah? <laughs> So yes, we're starting at a very low redeem rate and a faster, faster uh, increase from the start. That plans out, as I said. But that is not the only thing. Because we need to also get the long-term thinking, not only gaining speed. We have already gained some speed, yeah? But I believe the speed will be different from tomorrow. Yeah? When we get more and more proof of concept, people making money and start to see it, it will increase in speed. So how do we build a sustainable value. We need an effective tokenization strategy, you agree? It needs to be really effective. We also need, in my opinion, incentivize long-term thinking. Because if you don't understand, you might do something stupid and get rid of it too cheap, yeah? So what we have done is, we want to have an airdrop strategy, I will explain it to you, that rewards long-term thinking individuals like you and me. So yes, the cash, co cash commission we make, go ahead, do what you want, but be smart with these tokens. And I'm talking both about ORT and ORTP. Be smart with them. Yes, trade them. Yes, get rid of some, but think long term.
So how are we going to do this? We have an ORTP pool of 40 billion. And you see airdrops or whatever. We'll explain it soon. It starts with 20 billion retained by SEPCO. Initially, I will explain why that is initially. It doesn't mean that SEPCO ends up with 20 billion automatically. No. SEPCO needs to be smart also. 20 billion released to Cloud Horizon to use at its own discretion. However, Cloud Horizon sees that it will benefit the fight against plastic pollution in the best way. So if you look at it here also, this is very important now, the first cake here. You see 50% majority for the customers and associates. Yeah? 50% SEPCO, but you see, it goes in the same. If the redeem rate is really, really low and it's a lot of promotions, means that in the end of the day, when we have that on FT FPTs, it goes more ORTPs out. You agree? We waste more in the beginning. So if it's not two cents and it's 10 cents, we agree it goes at less tokens. And that is how this works. So you see, the first cake is always bigger. When we keep on, you know, uh, getting the redeem rate up, it goes less and less and less tokens out. You agree? Less, less, less. It's very simple. We aim to, and I'm saying we now, the whole consortium, people that are behind, you know, and doing the promotions, Frank deciding, Jens deciding, whatever they decide, they keep in mind and bear in mind that it affects the long term also value of the ORTP. So we are all in the same boat, and that is why SEPCO also needs to understand it. That is why Cloud Horizon needs to understand it, and you need to understand it, because it is all about getting more value in the end of the day into the ORTP token. You understand? So this means, if you're looking at it now then, let's assume that we would have used 8 billion tokens to get to 50 plants. I will show you why it is most probably less. But let's say it's eight. We're aiming to be somewhere, I said before, also between six to eight, which would be seven-ish. But in this example, I will use eight billions distributed through the funding of the 50 plants, which means that SEPCO also will get the same. It's always in balance, OK? Cloud Horizon part, six billion. SEPCO, six billion. Seven billion, seven billion. Eight billion, eight billion, until 50 units are financed initially into the pool. You understand? Somebody that doesn't? The rest will be airdropped. What is an airdrop? I will explain it very simply. You today have F FPTs in your back office, maybe, or then you redeem them already. If you haven't, you should redeem it now. Because as I said, it will soon start to go up the rate. Some people asked me before, oh, shouldn't I keep them in the back office as long? No, 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 no. You shouldn't keep them there, guys. You should redeem them and teach your organization to redeem them as soon as possible. Yeah, because it might go up the rates. This is not a company waking up in the morning and just deciding, no. We do it by mathematics, and it's transparent because of the Ethereum blockchain. <laughs> now, in this we assume that 8 billion ORTP tokens are distributed, yeah? That meant that same went to SEPCO. What is left? 8 plus 8 is 16, correct? If you take 40 minus 16, what is that? 24. Are you with me? That is why it reads 24 billions up here in 20 airdrops. Why 20? Because it happens every quarter. Four times a year, four times a year, Four times five is 20, correct? And if we assume that 24 billion is left to reward the long-term thinking individuals, each and every single time an airdrop happens, you will get rewarded on the amount you have at that point of time in your personal wallet. Should I repeat that? <laughs> every single time, quarterly, 20 times, if you are smart, you will be rewarded for free as an extra incentive, the majority of all the tokens for thinking like us, 
long term. So, ka-ching, 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 ka-ching. But if you are not understanding what it's all about, maybe you had a million of them, and let's sell them cheap. Andrea was smart. He bought them for a ridiculous price. Guess who gets the airdrop? The keeper and holder of the token at the time of the airdrop. Is that fair? So I'm going to show you how, how powerful this is. This is the redeem rate. It is only fractions of it. It will be in detail out on the website. So as you see, the first one, we will distribute approximately 950 million tokens. Same amount will go from SEPCO. When we come to five, it will be down to about, no, sorry, up to a total of about 2.2 billion that is out. When 10, three and a half, 24, seven, 46, five and 50, by the 50th last euro, last euro of the 150 million euro, euros in the contractual agreement. So let's say it's 149 million, 999,999, and then the last euro goes over, boom, the pool is closed. By that time, by that time, it will have been distributed approximately 7.5 to 8. I used 8 in this example to you guys. To you guys and your teams, your customers, to every single person that takes up the fight against the plastic pollution. And that, I think that's a pretty cool thing. At the same time, the same amount will be allocated to SEPCO, and the rest is up to how smart the people are. So if SEPCO is smart and takes it in cheap, SEPCO gets the airdrops. You understand? If SEPCO is stupid and lets it out, the guy that sits on it gets the airdrops. So think long term. Important here is to mention that this is approximate and depends on the incentives we are giving. So it's good for you guys to say, yeah, 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 let's do some promotions, but remember, it affects the strategy. Now, I'm going to also give you an example how that affects you. Is that good to know? So, as I said, the airdrops works in the following way. If it was 8 plus 8 billion, that means that the first airdrop would be what? If it's 24 billion, a 20th of it is 1.2 billion, correct? Split 24 billion in 20 pieces, 1.2. Second one, same. Third one, same. Fourth, fifth, sixth, and until the 20th, and the last tokens are distributed. Now they are out, 40 billion, all of them in the future. Now, what are the individual benefits? Let's assume that some of you guys have 2 million ORTP tokens when the airdrop starts. That would mean that you have, if you're looking at the 16 billion, you know, total, and so on, it would mean that you have a 0.0125% of the total 16 billion. And this is so cool with it. So even if we have people that are stupid, it's so fractional. It's so fractional. Imagine, you know, how small is 0.0125% of the total? <laughs> so this is the cool thing that we won't be fluctuating very much because of it also. Because it's so many. Yeah? But if you're looking at this, that means that the first airdrop would give you, to make it really simple, 150,000 extra, free extra incentive tokens for you. Is that cool? In three months. Boom! And not only that, even more cool is that you can continue. You wait a three months more, you get an additional 150,000. Boom, ka-ching. Three months more, boom. 20 times you can benefit more. That means that if you started at two million, ladies and gentlemen, you know how much it will be after the 20 airdrops? Five million. That's cool, yeah? 
You start with two, you end up with five. Is it worth to work a little bit for? Yeah. Imagine you here. Imagine that it would be a price, real price on the exchange of 25 cents then. I'm not talking about redeem rate. I'm talking about now purchase rate. That means that only, only your extra tokens you got there, the 150,000 would have a value. No, sorry, the 450,000 over three airdrops, nine months, would have a value, extra value of 112,500 euros. Is that cool? Unbelievable. Yes. But it's mathematics. That's the cool thing. Do you start understanding now how powerful this is? I don't think you do. Because if you do the mathematics, you will see that this company, if you take into consideration what I'm just showing you, with real things, real commodity, real mathematics, real numbers, <laughs> it's, we are guys. We are not pretty unbeatable. We are unbeatable. It would be stupidity for anybody to do anything else. Because you're not earning only your commissions in 100%, but you're getting extra rewarded with free promotional tokens that if you play the game, if you play by the rules, if you play by the rules that are given in this game that incentivizes you as a leader to think long term, we will reach what Jens was saying is, you know, our, our mission and vision. Because we will create not only the most millionaires, but I am pretty much confident to say that we will create the first billionaires from network marketing. And that's cool. With a compensation plan that not only has no roof on it, no limit. Do you understand that? You start to understand now why we have a compensation plan like we have? I think you do. In the beginning, people say, yeah, but why this and why that? Guys, there is some thought behind it. This allows us to be as generous as just possible towards you guys. Why? Because it comes back to us also. That's why we are extremely proud, you know, from me as a founder of the concept. I'm so proud to work with you guys. I'm so proud. You know, yesterday at the boat we saw the mentality. I mean, guys, this is some cool things that we're doing. There's some cool things. Good vibes, you know, cross line, up line, down line. You know, everybody is, you know, like working towards the same cause. So do you now understand why there is no cross lines in this? This token will be more valuable than any commission that you can make. It will be more valuable than any package that you can sell on the market. And when you listen to Jens soon here about CH Media, holy crap. Because what we are doing is everything is connecting. And when you realize that, when you realize that, you will look like me. It's not a compliment. It's not a compliment, the looks. But the compliment is you will feel really, really proud. Because you will look yourself in the mirror and you will say that I did all I could. I did all I could. That thank you from me.